This is Sweet Tooth here, just doing a really quick video uh, because my battery is really low. Um, today I'm just going to talk about a quick subject about Miss Misophony. I can't spell it, Misophony. Anyway, I'll update you what's happened uh, today. The work's finally been done on the outhouses. Hooray! Alan's left, so I'm doing a bit of tidy and cleaning up today. I didn't get up till about midday because I was just so shattered from yesterday. Uh, uh, so I finally pulled myself around. Of course, I was beating myself up over it, you know what I mean? I should have done, but that's the problem with anxiety. You see, you, you tend to beat yourself up over things. So anyway, it's really boiling here, actually, really humid. Um, and every, you know, I was uh, talking to uh, Marco. Hi, Marco. Um, about the north, and the north has had such a stigma about it over the years, but now I think it's the quieter half of the country. I might be wrong, I mean, just where we are now, you know, we're just listening to the birds and the cows and the rabbits. The rabbits don't even make noise. Um, but basically, what people would miss Napoleon and anxiety need in their lives is quietness. We don't like, uh, I certainly don't like noise pollution, and I don't like light pollution either. I hate light pollution, you know, and watching somebody else's big TV, and it's like a cinema. I used to live, oh, in a suburban area and every time I open the kitchen blinds I'd see over the road big TV and they do it deliberately to wind me up in the end. It got to the point where we, we just really fell out, really got really bad. Um, you know, it was just like, why don't you just close the curtains, you know what I mean, to block your TV out. Um, and they just there's this massive, massive fuck off LCD TV, you know, like, fuck's sake man, I don't want to see Coronation Street, straight from, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and also those horrible red sodium red lights. Thank God they're replacing them now with LEDs because it, it just used to look like a red light district. And then of course all the taxis, screaming cars, people missing a phone. We can't stand noisy families because noisy families mean noisy, noisy kids and parents who don't give that. So we, we need to be away from that. So it's like I said, I was talking to Marco about looking at your priorities in life and it's never too late to start again. Um, and you've got to put peace of mind above any, everything else because everything else can fall into place from that, you know. I mean, I've moved in my lifetime about 20 times. 10 times because of uh, misophonia and anxiety, you just couldn't cope. Now here is a, I'm really content here, but it's took till 50 year old to get sorted on that. Now, as, like I say, Marco, who I know, he's a young lad, 31, he's young, I don't think he's got a family, and I really, have, you know, people, if you're in that position, you've got no ties, nothing, there is, there is nothing stopping you uh, from moving on. Um, work, you can get a new job, you can find new people, new friends, but that's been over, but uh, quietness is, is absolutely essential. I mean, I hate radios, I hate other people's radios, work radios, I can't stand that. <laughs> Um, it was a few times here when I was getting build, building work done and I had to have a word because I can't stand it, you know what I mean? If I wanted to listen to Radio 1, I would. Um, but yeah, it's all coming together. Um, uh, and that, that's the thing, they prioritise what people are missing for you do. Write a list down, guys, that will, will make you happy and write a list down that, that, that ticks you off. And I bet you, I bet you, right, that uh, the things that tick you off in your area, will uh, there'll be more of those than what's making you happy right now. So you, you've got to look at it as a skills thing. You know, what's the point in dragging your life through a to live in a noisy suburban area with noisy people? Just cut all ties and get the hell out. Otherwise, your mental health gets to the point where you just can't cope with it. Um, as I say, um, and especially once you get older, it becomes harder and harder to move. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about just moving furniture anymore, but I, I don't possess too much of that. Um, but, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Um, you know, so draw a list down tonight guys whenever and, and draw exactly what you need and what you don't need you know what i mean try and keep your life simple as i say people with misophonia and social anxiety need to be in their own space uncrowded by everybody else and uh, they, need, they need somewhere where we can just um, breathe and 
be on our own and gather our thoughts. That's the problem. If, you, if you're in a noisy area, you can't gather your thoughts. And you're zoning in on next door's TV, you're zoning in on next door's radio, next door's uh, the light, the exhaust, the people around you. Um, and you don't want to live like that because it will just destroy you mentally. And once you go mentally, you've got no life. And you can make the money, you can pay the bills where you are. What's the point? You can do that. You can pay bills and live your life but in a quieter area. And where we live, there's no difference in the pay, what you're paying in rent in a quiet area as in a noisy area. In fact, some of these quiet areas are cheaper. The reason they're cheaper is because, because people come up here without kids. And because there's no loads of schools around here, it's a very limited market, which is great for people in Misnifonia. And I'm talking to you, Marco, as well as everybody else. Quite, quite area, a little bit out of the way. And if you're driving, spot on, you know what I mean? And that's what you want at the end of the day. You don't want to be next to schools and kids and families. Ah, uh, pizza shop. <laughs> yeah, do that little list, guys. I'm going to be back again shortly. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I shall leave you with the rabbit. Can you find a rabbit? He's here. There he is, right in the corner there. Just by that wall. There's two of them. Can you see him there? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bird up there as well. <laughs> oh, I'll show you exactly what we're growing as well. Got some corn going on in here as well. That's what the corn's going on. That's coming on nicely. And carrots are coming on. See that? <sighs> Oh, we've got some peas in that one, and we've got some uh, onions. I also planted some uh, more onions in here. So, yeah, I'm going to clear all these pallets up and I'm away. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you next one.